guys. So today I will be talking about my favorite scenes from my absolute favorite movies, which include, well, Breaking Dawn Part 1, <laughs> Avatar, Tangled, The Aristocats, Interstellar, and a few more. So first is the my... It is my favorite scene from Breaking Dawn Part 1. Um, the reason I love this scene so much is because it really shows how much Edward loves Bella and how like it's kind of interesting how in his speech he said let's start with forever you know because they're vampires anyways I feel like that was like the high point of their like emotional connection and it was just a really beautiful moment and I think his speech like brought me to like tears and when I first saw it I was like wow it's an extraordinary thing to meet someone who you can bury your soul to. And with Bella, I feel like I can finally begin. No measure of time with you will be long enough. Let's start with forever. Next is my favorite scene from the movie Avatar, the one with the blue people, not the last airbender. Um, the reason I love this scene so much is because you see the connection between Neytiri, one of the one of the Navi, and Jake, and that's when they really like that's when their romance really starts to grow. And yeah, I think it's a really beautiful moment in the movie. You are a Motikaya now. You may make your bow from the wood of home tree. Next is my favorite scene from the movie Hercules, a Disney classic. Um, the reason I the reason I enjoy this scene so much it shows how Meg feels about Hercules and how much she's denying her love for him, and everybody else knows it but her. And she's like, "I'm not gonna admit that I'm in love with him," but she is, and she can't help it. And then it's crazy because the other um, are they goddesses? The three ladies who are always singing in the background, or the ones who start off the movie. Well, anyways, they are even telling her, like, girl, you know it. Privation. Honey, we can see right oh, through you, girl, you can't conceal it. We oh, it's still oh, cliche, oh, I would say. Oh, I the next movie scene I'll be talking about is from the movie Beautiful Creatures, which a lot of people have not seen, surprisingly, and I highly recommend it. Um, it's a really good movie. It's about this girl named Lena, and she she's a spellcaster, um, aka kind of witch. But she meets this guy named Ethan, and technically mortals and spellcasters are not allowed to be with each other because of her ancestry. Like, I think one of her ancestors died because she fell in love with a mortal. So it's kind of like a forbidden love kind of story, you know? It's got that Twilight vibe. But anyways, this is my favorite scene because... It's when Lena and Ethan are arguing and she's like making it rain on him and he's like, stop making it rain on me. And this is when she emotionally breaks down because of everything that's happening. Cause she has to choose between being a good spellcaster and a bad one. But it's, that, it's not even her choice, it's the moon's choice. But I know there's no way we're gonna figure this out unless you stop feeling so damn sorry for yourself all the time. Ah! Everybody has to deal in their life. Being human is feeling pissed off. It's feeling scared and not being able to do anything about it until you don't feel that way anymore. And I yelled at you because I care about you. That's what normal people do who love each other. Now would you please stop raining on me? Okay, next is my favorite scene from Bedtime Stories with Adam Sandler. It's funny because in this movie, what happens is the bedtime stories he tells to his niece and nephew actually come true in real life in, a, in an ironic sort of way. So here, I think one of the children said, it's raining gumballs. And of course he dismisses this like, haha, that's not gonna happen, right? But then the next day or a few days later, a pickup truck that's delivering gumballs, um, the back of the truck kind of falls open, like the opening, it falls open. So all of the gumballs are like falling off of the freeway or a, a parking lot that's like higher up, but his car is right under there. So all the gumballs are like falling on top of his car, so it's raining gumballs. Mm -hmm. 
Next is my favorite scene from the movie musical Hairspray. It's when the main character is singing I Can Hear the Bells and that song is adorable and catchy and she's singing about how much um, she likes that guy and how she already sees a future with him and then she's like I can hear the bells and by bells she means wedding bells. <laughs> Um, and it's interesting because she's overweight and she deals with a lot of problems with that and you know she has big hair she, she defies that standard and makes one of her own it's a very empowering song because she doesn't allow this other girl amber um she's a skinny blonde girl i believe and not any offense to skinny blonde girls at all go you but Amber is just very much different from her. And she's like, you know what, Amber? She's In the song, she says, much to your surprise, this heavyweight champion takes the prize. The prize being the guy. Love put me in a fix, yes, it hit me. Just like a ton of bricks, yes, my heart bursts. Now I know what life's about. And I can hear the bells. My head is spinning. I can't contain my joy. On a date and then round two, round four, he'll ask me for my hand. Round six, Amber, much to your surprise, this heavyweight champion takes the prize. Ha, oh, this freaking lighting is so annoying. Okay, next is my favorite scene from the movie Tangled. It's a Disney movie. And the reason, I hate this lighting. I hate it that it does that. Okay, sorry. My, what? Oh. Oh. The reason I love this scene is because she feels so conflicted. She's so confused about how she's feeling about leaving the tower because, you know, her mom, Mother Gothel, is going to get all upset with her. And she's really scared of her because that's really scary. So it's funny because she's like, oh my God, I can't wait to see the lanterns. Oh my God, I'm going to get in trouble. And I think we've all been there where we don't really know how we feel about something. But then in the end, she ends up going to see the lights because that's what makes her happy. So. I can't believe I did this! <laughs> well, that's okay. I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her, right? Oh my gosh. This is gonna kill her. I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! <laughs> you know, I can't help but notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. Next is my favorite scene, again, with the lighting. Oh my goodness, okay. Next is my favorite scene from the movie Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. I actually do a pretty decent Matthew McConaughey impression, okay? Um, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> my friends know I always do that. Okay, so the movie Interstellar is really difficult to explain because it has to do with astronomy and dimensions and it's a lot of scientific things that it's really difficult to explain. But basically, Matthew McConaughey's character travels to space um, and what happens is he's in another dimension and that dimension is in the future. So, but it's in like, that dimension's in the future. And somehow, some way he talks to his daughter, but he talks to her in the past using not Morse code, but a different kind of code. And it's just crazy. But the reason I love this scene so much is because of how complex and deep it is. Wow, that's a word people use a lot for poetry. It's so deep. Anyways, yeah. So the reason I love the scene is because you really see the first half of the movie connect to the last half. Because in the first half of the movie, the daughter, her name's Murph, and that's actually the actress that plays Renesmee in Twilight. Um, but anyways, the daughter, she thinks she has a ghost in her room because there's like books falling out of the shelves, like randomly, and then there's like code on the ground. And her dad, at the time, before he goes to space, he's like, oh, some, like a ghost is trying to communicate with you. But it ends up being the dad in the future that goes to space asking her for help and communicating with her from the future. It's just really complex and it's really difficult to understand if you if I'm just talking about it, but trust me when I say watch the movie and you'll get it. Huh. 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 
Burr! Burr! No, 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 no! Burr! So next is one of my all-time favorite cartoons since I was a little girl. It's called The Aristocats. The name's a little cheesy, the movie's amazing. Um, it's about these kittens and they get kidnapped by the house butler, I think? Um, the owner's butler, because <laughs> the, uh, the owner, she's, she's an old lady and she's retiring and instead of giving the money to like a person, she gives it to her cats. She says she's gonna give it to her cats. So the butler, being deceitful, um, he kidnaps the cats, drops them off in the middle of nowhere so that there are no cats to give the money to. It's really interesting, but this is my favorite scene because it's such a cute song and I've loved it since I was little. And one of the kittens name, the white one, her name is Marie and my middle name is Marie. So I just think she's adorable. She's sassy, she's quirky, like me. Just kidding, kind of. Ouch. When you do your skills and your arpeggios. Skills and our arpeggios. Okay, next is my favorite scene from one of my all-time favorite movies since I was a little girl, Top Gun with Tom Cruise. Um, the reason this is my favorite scene is because I just think it's so adorable that, you know, the main character goes through all of this just to get the attention of one girl at a bar. And I thought it was adorable that all his um, pilot friends helped out. And I just thought this was an adorable scene. And I know if I were her, I would have been blushing like crazy and been all embarrassed. But I just think it's a really cute scene in the movie. She's lost that love and feeling. She's like, no, she hasn't. Yes, she, she has. has not lost that love because she's lost it, Matt. Come on. I hate it when she does that. Close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. Hard not to show it, babe. But babe. 